When you see a red cross sign next to the audio icon in the system tray, you know you cannot listen to any sound on your computer. And if the error of no audio output device is installed, this means you need a quick fix to all of it. Well, understand that this error could show up due to corrupt Windows update, missing outdated or corrupt audio drivers, disabled playback device or an unpaired wireless device with a PC. But let me tell you how to fix it here. Number one, restart the system. Many times when you change hardware configurations, the audio device might stop working. To avoid this, never attach any device while the PC is booting up. However, if you did connect a peripheral when the Windows wasn't fully loaded, simply restart the device. This should help fix no audio devices are installed. Number two, run audio troubleshooter. For this, go to settings, update and security, troubleshoot, additional troubleshooter, playing audio, and then select run the troubleshooter. Wait for the troubleshooter to detect the problem with the audio device. If any problems are detected, they will be fixed. Also, the troubleshooter will give tips to improve the system sound. So that's how you can fix the audio issues. Number three, update outdated audio drivers. One of the most powerful solutions is to update the outdated drivers that enable the system to work properly and support third-party devices. You will need to visit the manufacturer's website and download the correct driver compatible with your operating system for manual update. But we recommend you to download Advanced Driver Updater for automatic updates. All you have to do is download it and install it and click Start Scan Now to scan the system for outdated drivers. As the scan completes, click Update Driver next to Audio Driver and update it. And you're done. Next is to update the windows. For this, press Windows plus I to open settings, click update in security, Windows update, check for updates, let Windows look for available updates. If available, you will get download and install option, click on it to update Windows. So that's it guys, that's how you can resolve the issue. And for more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to us.